Hello beautiful souls. So I thought I'd come on and do a collective reading. So if you are seeing this video, you are a vibrational match to the message. So if you would like to receive this message, uh, just take a few deep breaths and we'll get into it. So I decided to do this reading because um, one of my followers said that they were missing um, my collective readings. And for those of you who follow me, you know that I was pregnant. Um, I gave birth on August 1st and so I've been away. <laughs> um, everything's going really well. Um, my baby is now three weeks old. So uh, they said that they missed the readings and I was just like, you know what? Baby's asleep, partner's here watching him. Why not come and do a quick reading? So if this resonates with you, um, Thank you so much for watching and if you would like a personal reading with me you can head over to my etsy shop also on that note i'm going to be adding some new things to the etsy shop uh coming up very soon so definitely stay tuned for that as well all right so the animal spirit that's coming through for us is grasshopper spirit okay and that's take a leap of faith all right so that is going to be the energy of today's reading so let's get some tarot out here for take a leap of faith so spirit what is it you want us to know about this taking a leap of faith all right whoever's watching this video what is it they need to hear about taking a leap of faith all right we have the emperor in reverse so i'm hearing you're you're not <laughs> um, that you're not taking charge necessarily of your life, that you're not owning maybe what you want in a really powerful way. Um, maybe you see, you know, something ahead of you, but it really scares you and you're not really owning this. And when I see the emperor, I think divine masculine. Okay. So when I see it in reverse, you know, it's like not owning, um, your creative power, um, your forward moving energy. Again, that leap of faith. And we have the justice card in reverse that's interesting so i feel like you may be holding back because you don't feel like you are worthy of what it is you want right maybe this is a job opportunity maybe this is a relationship whatever it is there's some part of you that feels like you are not worthy of taking this so you don't want to take the leap of faith okay okay and then we have five of cups interesting and three of swords all right so that makes a lot of sense so five of cups is about you know being really focused on what isn't working the lack okay we have this you know looking more towards what's in the water what's not working but she has this these flowers here she has stuff but really focusing on the negative is what i see from here and then we have this three of swords along with that which so what i see is focusing on the negative i'm hearing like protecting yourself um because you've been hurt in the past because you've been um disappointed in the past is what i'm hearing so that's why you're not taking this leap of faith and we have this death card in reverse as well so yeah there's a lot of stagnant energy here there's not you're not letting what needs to die die you're not letting what needs to come to you come okay because there is this fear and obviously if we're holding a vibration if we're have a belief system and expectation um the things we want can't come in for us right and we have this nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, so a lot of sad energy. I feel like there's a lot of tension. There's a lot of feeling like you can't be happy, okay? And so the leap of faith doesn't seem worth it is what I'm getting. Yeah, we have this page of wands in reverse as well. So yeah, there's this energy of holding back, not being playful. I am hearing um, you're taking things too seriously. Okay, and then we have this Four of Swords. Oh, a lot of reverse cards. Four of Swords in reverse, and we have the Hanged Man in reverse. So, Four of Swords I see is the Rest card, um, the Meditation card. Um, I, I get a lot of self worth out of that. You know, I worthy to slow down, worthy to have what you want to rest. Okay, and then we have this Hanged Man in reverse. So what I'm getting is there's this feeling of, I, I can't stop. I, I, you know, I need to push myself, you know, I'm not worthy of slowing down. Um, there's a lot of pent up energy. And then we have this hangman in reverse, you know, there's, there's, um, this perspective needs to shift, but it's, I'm getting that this is so ingrained that because of maybe past experiences, heartbreak, things like that, it's so ingrained in you that you don't even realize that it's a belief system that's holding you back. Okay. 
and then we have this ten of wands okay so ten of wands is about holding on to burdens about taking on too much so i really feel that with this so you're taking on too much um maybe too much um self-responsibility okay of course we create our reality but we can also really guilt ourselves for some things you know say like well i'm not worthy of happiness i'm not worthy of you know, having what I want because X, Y, and Z. So be aware of where you're burdening, overburdening yourself. Um, I also feel like there's this idea that you have to like work yourself into the ground and that maybe you can't have the job you really want, the lifestyle you really want, okay? And then we have this star card in reverse. Yeah, this is, this belief system is really keeping you out of alignment. That's what I'm hearing. There is a path for you. And I feel like you feel that. I feel like there's something you know, you're looking, you're like, I know I want that thing, but... And, and that is a part of your path. That's why it's take the leap of faith, okay? And then we have the star card. Is you're keeping yourself away from what is meant for you, okay? And then we have this nine of swords in reverse. Yes, you're very trapped in this idea. Um, the nine of swords is really about the nightmare. It's about, um, you know, believing the illusion. And with this in reverse, it's you don't even realize you're in a dream, okay? You don't even realize you're in the nightmare. You just genuinely feel that you can't have what you want. And we have the magician and ace of cups. Okay, wow. So I was literally just thinking, okay, spirit, what are we going to do about this? Um, we have the magician and the ace of cups. The ace of cups is all about renewal. It's all about leveling up. And we have the magician. So what I'm hearing from spirit is saying, you actually do have the power. You are really letting yourself be a victim. But as soon as you choose and decide you are worthy and take this leap of faith towards your worthiness, towards knowing what you want and saying, no, I'm worthy of that. Um, you are going to level up. You are going to get what you want, okay? Is there anything else to go along with this? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you have to come more you have to come back into balance with yourself. You're really out of balance. You're really taking on a lot of victim mentality, a lot of believing that you don't have power. Okay. Five of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of tension around this. Um, a lot of believing what other people have said about you. Okay. You're really taking on others' energy. It's time to come back into your own. Remember, you are the magician. Yeah. And this Ace of Wands, you have the power to create what you want. There is energy that wants to move forward for you. And I feel like this is becoming more and more tense for you because there is energy around you that's saying like, go take the leap of faith. And you're like, no, 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 no. So there is a lot of pent up energy. Yeah. And we have this Three of Cups. Stop believing what others have told you about yourself. Okay. They don't know you. All right. They don't necessarily have your best interest at heart. You know, everyone's the center of their own universe. You know, it's not necessarily what's meant for you. And then we have this King of Wands and the King of Pentacles in reverse. So what I hear is own your power, own your creative power. Stop like halting your, your path. Okay. Um, stop resisting it. Stop slowing yourself down is what I'm hearing. Okay. And this is the last card here. Ace of Swords. Be aware. This is in reverse. Be aware of where you're believing your own BS. Okay. It's time to cut through your own BS and say, no, this isn't serving me. Okay. And now we're going to get one last card here. Spirit, what is it that's going, what is the energy that needs to come in for the people seeing this video that is going to help them move through this? wash away your burdens okay what burdens have you taken on from others what is it that's not serving you what is it that you you're doing that you're like this isn't me but like you so believe it's you you've taken it on release them it's it's done it's it's no longer serving you it's no longer what you need to be doing it's time to release your burdens with that like um, Ten of Wands, let go of what you've taken on from others. It's time to really step onto your path. Take the leap of faith. This me might mean letting go of some people. This may mean letting go of the job you don't like. But Spirit's saying do it. It's Now is the time. All right? The time is now. And you got this. You are supported is what I'm hearing. All right, everyone. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for anyone who watched this for sticking around. Again, if you would like a personal reading, you can head over to my Etsy shop, which is in my bio. Um, yeah. Let me know if you want to see more readings like this in the future. Um, as long as baby is sleeping and someone's watching him, um, I should be able to get on here at least every so often and do these. So let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching. Many blessings. Namaste. And don't forget, it's all about the soul journey.